Aquarius, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for the month of June 2020. And I'll start it off with the Oracle card. Then I'll be going into the reading. And then I'll close it off with another Oracle card for you. And uh, these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Um... Let's see. You get Distant Thunder. Clear the air. This does look like the Tower card in Tarot. Clear the air. So let's see here. What's going on for you? It feels like spring in here. Um, the overall energy for the reading, the fool, uh, willing to go out there to take a chance, take a leap of faith into something. And it does present itself as a good freaking energy. So I can understand your need to <clears throat> need to jump for it, to take it. Starting off the reading, you get the hermit crossed by the seven of pentacles. There's a lot of work you're putting into yourself here. A lot of uh, healing, a lot of inner thinking, deep inner thinking. Your focus is on this brand new beginning. It's very practical, very material, something you can touch. It's not something we create in our heads. It's something that you know it's out there for you to grab in your recent past here. A little bit of going back and forth, a little bit of not knowing what to do. But I feel like when you started to go within, that's when things started to align also within you. And you know that you knew the direction you had to go to. Um, your strength here, the Hierophant, this could be a marriage. This could be a very spiritual connection. It could be um, long term commitment here. You know, it could be a bunch of things, but we have to clarify. In your immediate future, huh? future, future, you get the Knight of Cups, love coming your way, supporting this energy, the Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning. Something's cooking for you, and you feel it, and you know it's coming. Um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Nine of Cups, that's happiness, that's wish fulfillment. Um, you're hoping for this love to come your way, and it is. In the potential outcome, you get the Judgment card, um, decision time. Let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the full. The Five of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. There's a, there's a big fly somewhere. Oh, hey, what's up? You want to go get that fly? Go get it. Um, hold on, you're sitting on my cards. So there's some sort of conflict here surrounding you. And I feel like you're taking your time resolving this conflict. You want to. You want for it to be done already. You want for it to, to, to move away from your life, this energy of conflict. And I feel like you're working on getting it fixed. Um...
he's good at finding insects. He heard it. Let me clarify the hermit. The devil, the eight of pentacles, and the ace of cups. I feel like you're questioning this. Um, you got three aces in the reading, and we're not even halfway through. That's powerful new beginnings here. Um, I feel like you're starting to question um, whether or not you should still want this brand new beginning. Um, you want it, you feel like you want it, but you're starting to, to question it in terms of, do I want it because... I'm selfish and I really want what's best for me and I don't care about anybody else. Do I want it? Because, you know, you're starting to question yourself a lot, which is actually very good because it's, it's not like blaming you for being a certain way or, but just looking at it from a very realistic perspective. Like, as I said, what are my reasons for wanting this? Are they real? Are they supposed to, to be here, these feelings, or not? You know, you, not a lot of people get to do that, like, um, detach themselves a little bit from what they truly, truly want when it shows up for them. And I feel like that's where you're heading with this energy. Let me clarify the Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. So you know that um, nothing's going to open up for you until you actually align with yourself first. Until you're completely balanced within yourself. Emotionally, practically, logically, from any kind of perspective you want to look at. And that's what you're learning to align with yourself first so that things do come in naturally towards you um very cool reading let's do the two of pentacles in the recent past the seven of pentacles the seven of wands and the high priestess yeah there's some sort of rejection here on your part of what was to come which is actually here for you right now and there's some sort of um, trying to work on this aspect of seeing why you're rejecting this. Why you're rejecting happiness coming your way. Um, wow. All right. Hold on. You're going to have to give me a little bit of a pause because that flew out. And not only did it fly out, it flew out all over the place. So why are you rejecting happiness? Think about that while I do my thing here. <laughs> my dog was like what the fuck stay on the table cards all right hold on hold on okay almost there why am I so clumsy? I'm never clumsy. Well, sometimes I am. Shit. If you hear a big boom, that's Felix jumping to catch that fly. He's gonna go for it. <laughs> I wish you could see him. Um. Let's clarify the Hierophant. The Queen of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Interesting. Somebody tried to put a logical spin on a connection here. And it brought them a lot of sadness. It's like thinking this connection from here and feeling the sadness from here the the repercussion you feel it here of course duh um hmm. this felt like a powerful connection here 
And I feel like somebody tried to, to put it in the 3D realm to be like, it's just another connection. It's just like anything else out there. There's nothing special about it. But deep down, it brought them a lot of sadness. And I kind of feel like that's you. I kind of feel like that's you. And that's what actually made you change, shift perspectives here into going within. Let me clarify the Knight of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Page of Swords. Curiosity. Yeah, it's coming towards you. It's coming towards you. Uh, it might not show up in the way it shows up in the cards with the Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles. And that's definitely, it might show up as a Page of Swords. Like shy, timid, but it's coming. Something, uh, an offer here of love, of opening up. Let's uh, clarify the Ace of Wands. The Four of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ace of Wands again. <laughs> wow. This connection is healing big time. You and your person are both contributing to the healing of this connection. It's almost like you are a little bit behind here, but you're catching up. Wow. Whew, get ready. Uh, let me clarify the Nine of Cups. This King of Cups, whoever this is, is somebody that loves you a lot. And they're coming over. So get ready. As I said, get ready. The Chariot came over with the King of Cups. That's fast movement towards you. It's going to bring you a whole lot of happiness. And this person is not giving up. They might come in, you might not recognize it as that. You might be like, yeah, what the hell is this? What are you bringing me? You know, uh, but they're bringing love. Whatever way they're presenting that, even if it's a high, that's the start of it. Uh, let's clarify the page of cups. The moon, the seven of cups and the three of pentacles. Somebody's working on a plan here to come in. And offer love. You are unaware here. You have no idea that somebody is going to bring you love here. And they're working on a plan. They're, they might be overthinking things. They might be like, um, let's try it this way. Or this way. Or this way. Or this way. or th Just try it. It doesn't matter which way. If you have it in your head that you want to try it. The more options you bring in to look at. The more it's going to dissipate. Um, let me clarify the judgment. In the potential outcome. The Seven of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Uh, this could be you. I feel like whatever's happening here uh, is going to bring you a lot of happiness, but at the same time, a lot of transformation. And the transformation part, the change part, it's not something that you're going to say, I want to change my life, but it's sure as hell going to feel like that. Um, and that's the part where you're going to be like, no, I don't want to change my life. No, my life's perfect the way it is. Um, and there's going to be a struggle here between happiness and unhappiness. You need to decide. You need to decide what's it going to be. Because I feel like happiness is going to come your way. And you need to decide if you're going to choose that or stay in this energy. And if you stay in this energy, you're sure as hell going to walk away from change and transformation and whatever this energy is bringing in. Um, let me see what the universe has for you. The Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Things are still moving along between the two of you. I see movement. I don't see it necessarily physically. I see it more energetically. You two may not acknowledge it in the 3D world, but things are still happening in this connection. Things are still progressing in some way energetically. Um, again, when this... 
the initial kind of offer comes in, it could come in as simple as a high. And you might not even recognize it that behind it, there's love. There's this whole energy coming towards you. So if your reaction to it is, what the hell is this? Why are you even talking to me? Or things like that. That flips this whole energy. It, it washes it away. You know? Because I see an entrance here. And if that entrance is then this whole energy is not going to even matter anymore. Um, let me clarify the lesson, the lesson card. Let me clar what clarify. Let me end it with uh, Oracle card from the soul's journey lesson cards. That's what I wanted to say. And you get acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. It goes perfectly in tune with all of this. So whatever way it presents itself, this energy, go with it. Accept it. It's not going to come in the way that you expect. That's for sure. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.